Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm diving into the colorful world of English idioms, specifically those that start with the letter S. Let's spice up your English vocabulary and make your conversations sound more native. First up, spill the beans. This phrase doesn't have anything to do with actual beans. Instead, it means to reveal a secret or disclose information accidentally or prematurely. For example, if I say, I didn't mean to spill the beans about Lisa's surprise party. I'm saying I accidentally gave away a secret. Next, speak of the devil. This is what you say when the person you were just talking about actually appears. Imagine talking about your friend Bob, and just as you mention his name, he walks in. You'd say, speak of the devil, we were just talking about you. It's a way to acknowledge a funny coincidence. Moving on to steal someone's thunder. No, this isn't about taking someone's weather phenomena. It means to take the credit for something someone else did, or to overshadow someone else's achievements. For example, Jen really stole my thunder when she announced her project, which was similar to mine, before I could. Then there's straight from the horse's mouth. This means getting information directly from the most reliable source, rather than second hand. So, if your boss directly tells you about changes in the company, you're getting the news straight from the horse's mouth. And lastly, we have saved by the bell. Originating from old boxing matches where a bell would signal the end of a round, this idiom now refers to being saved from a difficult situation by a timely interruption. Like when the school bell rings just as you were about to be asked a tough question you didn't know the answer to. Idioms are not just phrases, but are the essence of the language, reflecting culture and history. They can be tricky, but are crucial for sounding fluent and natural. Keep practicing them, and soon you'll be using them just like a native speaker. That's it for today's lesson on S idioms. I hope you found this useful and interesting. Subscribe for more lessons like this. And don't forget to like and comment with any questions or idioms you want to explore next. See you in the next one, and keep learning.